everyone, Comic Reviewy here, this time reviewing on Son of Batman. Now, as you know, Son of Batman is meant to car is meant to be the f the second entry into the new 52 movie animated universe, as well as meant to be the next film after Justice League War. Well, Flashpoint Paradox was meant to be the first entry, but more of a prequel. And the premise of the film is meant to... is mostly meant to be about Damien, who, after narrowly escaping a, a hostile takeover by Deathstroke and his function of the League of Assassins, after something that happens to Ra's al Ghul, leads to Talia, Talia contacting Bruce and having Bruce take on the, the role of being Damien's guardian. And you can kind of tell that Bruce is a bit reluctant at first and does find it hard to kind of, you know, work with Damien as Damien's been trained by assassins and that. But you can tell he does try to open up to him. And you can tell Damien starts to kind of see the difference between him and his father. And the, and the plot of the movie is meant to be about stopping Deathstroke's big plan of creating an army of bat-like soldiers by Kurt Langstrom. As well as meant to kind of be its own take on Grant Morrison's story, Batman and Son. Now, I've only read the story as a graphic novel back at a library years ago at col college, and this adaption is meant to follow its own continuity and meant to follow its own story. So, there are a lot of differences. For example, Deathstroke's meant to be part of the League of Assassins, well, in the comics, he never was. And the point of Damien was meant to be much different than what was shown in the film. And Tim Drake was meant to be Robin for a time, while Bruce was technically more open with working with Tim Drake. And keep in mind that this film is meant to kind of start Damien off as his first role as the main character. And I think you can tell that Bruce is opened and amazed by Damien's potential, and does try to get Damien to see that violence isn't always the way, this isn't a solution, and you can tell Damien starts to kind of slowly accept Bruce as his mentor, and you can kind of tell he slowly starts to kind of move on from his old life, and starts to become the new boy wonder, and I think the point of Deathstroke was meant to be a counterpart to Damien, like Damien, who meant to have everything handed to him, while Deathstroke was meant to be more bitter and angry about all the opportunities he had taking away from him. And this actually does work. And I think the problem with the film is how they handle Re what happens to Rachel Ghoul. And I do think, yeah, having Damien as the main character, this seems a bit enforced. Again, it's not a bad idea to have Damien in the story, it's just how they use him. Personally, I think if I was to write the next entry, I would have had it be called Batman Project Lazarus. I would have had it that Dick Grayson would have still been Robin and tried to, you know, move out from Batman's shadow. I would have had it that Nisa and Rachel Ghoul working together to create a Doomsday Lazarus project that would do that would destroy humanity and for those chosen to survive. I would have even have had it that by the end of it, Dick Grayson deciding to become Nightwing and could have pretty much moved on the potential of having Damien brought in, but as a newborn. Something that I think Young Justice at least did better because it kind of gave you the future of what Damien was going to be as well as Lo Lois and Clark's son. And I also know they did do three other Batman movies, Batman vs. Robin, Batman Bad Blood, and the final one, Batman Hush. 
I mean, well, the Batman movies aren't bad. It does seem to heavily enforce Batman in it, and really could have focused more on the other DC characters. Something that they did fix until Ju Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. So I admit the movie isn't too bad. It lifted its sword, swung it, and left an alright movie. So I think it definitely deserves a thumbs in the middle. Kind of alright, kind of okay, but not one of the best. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.